欢迎收看今日焦点。目前，中共病毒肆虐全球。截至今天7月10号，全球已经有超过188个国家 1,200 多万人感染，而关于这场疫情的起源还不为人知。目前，一位研究中共病毒的科学家逃离中国，揭露关于病毒起源的真相。7月10号，他接受了美国媒体福克斯的采访。我们一起来看一下。I'm Dr. Li Meng Yan.、Uh, you can call me Scarlett. I'm from Hong Kong, and I work in the University of Hong Kong School of Public Health. My lab is the top lab in the world for coronavirus. The reason I came to U.S. is because I deliver the message of the truth of COVID-19. 严博士表示，在一月份，医生们发现病毒会人传人的消息被当局晋升，而世卫组织也引用了中共的数据，一直不承认病毒会人传人。武汉的医生们被威胁晋升。而世卫组织也参与了掩盖真相。严博士还被警告不要触碰红线。This is a conversation happened on 31 December. I talked to a friend who is a scientist in the CDC in China. That friend has a first-hand information, and this person told me there is family cluster cases, so there should be human-to-human -human transmission. 
public as soon as possible. But then he didn't do anything because I wait, I didn't see any response after many days even. And also uh, our co-director of the WHO lab, the Proof Medic Paris, and they know it, but they didn't do any action. As a virologist, and even some of them are doctors, they should know how terrible this is. This is a public health threat. They should do the quick response to it. They should have done many things. There are so many choices they can do to control this outbreak, not let it spread as a biggest disaster we have seen in the human history. I feel very disappointed, but I already know this would happen because I know the corruption among this kind of international organization like WHO to China government, to China Communist Party government. So basically I accept it, but I don't want this misleading information to spread to the world. I think it has to be corrected. I know what will happen to me. I know how they treat the whistleblowers. I see how terrible the government suppressed those young, innocent protesters. 最终，严博士把这些信息透露给了美国的一家媒体。当节目播出之后，中国方面，习近平马上发布了2020年第一份声明，说病毒会人传人。三天之后，武汉开始封城。So we get response from our government within four hours. Report this. The government changed the case numbers from 62 to 198, to 198, triple. They admit this is human-to-human -human transmission. And also, Chairman Xi issued the first statement in 2020 that claimed this one, new coronavirus, actually is infectious disease, which put to the same level as SARS at that time. And then later, within three days, to、uh, 23rd January, they locked down Wuhan. 当严博士揭露了这么大的关于中共的内幕之后，有人告诉他说他已经处于危险之中。于是严博士辗转来到美国。He knows that I'm in danger. I have to leave as soon as possible. And ask me that whether I want go to U.S. to tell the truth to the world. I said I'm willing to do that, and my husband found that phone call. He's totally pissed up, and he blamed me, tried to ruin my、uh, confidence. Also, show he's totally scared of China government. He said they will kill all of us. I try to persuade him to go to U.S. with me, but I failed. So Monday, 27 April, I got my U.S. ticket, and then 28 April, I took the flight to go to U.S. That day, I was very nervous. Any step. Before the flight set off, I know I can be stopped. When I arrive at LAX, initially it goes very well. I pass the custom and I get my luggages. 而另一方面，中共立即组建专案组，派国安和警察去严博士老家进行骚扰，并利用网络水军进行造谣攻击，说严博士撒谎，他甚至有精神疾病等等，种种抹黑造谣。这也就是中共的一贯手法，现在名誉上搞臭。Since I left Hong Kong within just several hours, when I was still on the flight, the whole government recruited, and the China Ministry of State Security went to my hometown Qingdao, and with policemen to give trouble to my family. Since middle of May,、uh, our government started to put online the attack on me, like the cyber military attacking me from Twitter. At that time, I didn't expose my identity. I haven't been to the public. Only they know who I am. They try to 
uh, spread a lot of rumor, ruin my reputation, and said I'm lying. They created a fake fa uh, Facebook account, uh, which is under my Chinese name, Yin Li Meng, using my profile, and to tell people that I'm kidnapping you as I try to lie to people, and uh, even I have the mental disorder. 而香港大学方面删除了严博士的网络主页，并对福克斯新闻说，他不再是他们的成员之一，但是却并不回应他们是在何时以及为什么来终止了严博士的成员资格。All the thing like this, I'm I'm sure once this go to the public, there will be worse things come to attack me, full of lies. Of course, I'm afraid of the safety. I'm worried about the safety of my family and my friends and. All the people who had sent me the information, no matter doctors or officers or lab people, researchers, scientists, they all know it clearly. They trust me, and so that's why I need to protect them. They are all under surveillance, under trouble, and my family in life-threatening danger, definitely every day. Yan 博士说，病毒是人类共同的灾难，不分种族和党派。所以他必须要把真相说出来。I mean, this is all of us involved. No matter this party, that party, this country, that country. The only thing is, when people understand the truth, they know how to protect themselves. You have to image how many cases not reported from China already. If there is six million people in the world, one in six hundred get confirmed. But this will increase in a very quick speed. Image one day you see one in hundred people already get infected in the world, and later one in fifty, one in ten. That means none of us can escape from this. Don't expect the herd immunity, especially at this time, because you don't know this virus. You cannot judge the character of this virus according to our previous experience, and we don't expect the vaccine at this moment. Or some magic solution at this moment. The only thing we can do is to understand where it come from, do the right research, and protect us, protect our family, our friend, anyone around us in the right way. That is the only thing we can do now. That is why I need to tell it to the world. I really need people to understand this is very, very critical for every one of us. 目前，严博士的采访视频在网上被迅速传播开来。有人说：“真是让人敬佩啊，能够勇敢地站出来，揭露中共集权下的黑暗掩盖。”也有人说：“中共病毒已经威胁到我们每个人的生命安全，难道我们不应该去追责吗？”严博士已经最勇敢地开了开场白，打开了大家砸中共的序幕。好了，感谢收看《今日焦点》，我们下期再会。